Climate change does not only affect polar bears. Climate change is an emerging public health disaster. According to Dr. Paul Epstein of Harvard Medical School, climate change affects health in five ways. Through heat waves, infectious diseases, asthma and allergies, winter weather anomalies, and pests and pathogens of crops, forests, and marine life. The U.S. makes up 5% of the world's population, but contributes 25% of carbon emissions. As we learn more about the link between environmental toxins and human health, it becomes even more urgent for health centers to eliminate environmental toxins, to truly be centers of health. We at Chicago PSR understand the links between the environment and our health. Healthcare centers have actually been a little bit slow to take up the leadership role of becoming environmentally friendly. We can't truly call ourselves health centers if we're harming the environment. The first thing everybody learns in medical school is what? Primum non nocerum, first, do no harm. Medical waste contains items that have been contaminated with blood, with bodily fluids, and also with toxins from within the clinic or health center environment. In order to minimize the hazardous medical waste, it's important to incorporate training so that people know to separate the hazardous waste from the normal waste. Most exam rooms are probably set up with a specific red medical waste container with a red medical waste biohazard bag and then with a conventional garbage bag. Medical waste is much more expensive to dispose of than ordinary waste, so by minimizing the medical waste and the hazardous component, the clinic will actually save money. Unfortunately, physicians and other practitioners sometimes add regular waste, just paper towels or what have you, into the medical waste disposal containers. And that's the wrong way, that's the wrong thing to do. Given the fact that it is challenging to dispose of medical waste, that it's toxic, it's dangerous, it can't go into the regular waste stream, it can't go into regular landfills, it needs to be minimized. Physicians and mid-level practitioners use medical equipment in the outpatient setting. They may use suture removal kits, they may use speculum for gynecologic exams, and unfortunately, because of a sense of convenience, many practitioners use disposable medical products. Medical practices instead can choose to use reusable products can invest in an autoclave system and can then keep those products out of the medical waste stream. Medical practices should investigate the use of reusable sharps containers. The sharps can be disposed of properly and then the container itself can be reused and this can keep a lot of plastic out of the waste stream. In order to change the culture of relying on disposable medical equipment Leadership is needed in clinic settings. It's a cultural shift. Individuals in charge of clinics need to switch how they think about these reusable products. When people come to a clinic or a health center, they expect to come into a safe environment and a healthy environment. Health centers are in a bit of a bind when it comes to cleaning products because on the one hand, Health centers must be clean, and because people with infectious diseases come to health centers, it is incumbent upon health center staff to use cleaning products that will minimize communicable disease risks. But on the other hand, some of these cleaning products are quite toxic. They have been linked to serious illnesses such as cancer, skin diseases. Respiratory symptoms 
in uh, both workers and and in patients. Some of the barriers to create a safe and healthy work environment is simply getting stuck in old routines. Often custodial staff are contracted. There is a lack of dialogue between the custodial staff and the management in terms of what products to use and what routines to use. Health centers should seek out greener cleaners that also are powerful enough to eradicate infectious disease risks. Everyone from custodial staff to management, to physicians, to nurses, everyone has to be involved. Eating a healthy diet is really the backbone of human health. The health centers can be models for good nutrition, not only with doctors and nurses and nutritionists counseling patients on how to make better food choices, but also by sometimes even growing their own food. Some hospitals and now some outpatient clinics have started community gardens where they work together with patients to grow healthy vegetables. Healthcare centers should encourage carpooling, use of public transportation, walking, riding a bicycle. This applies to both patients and staff. Medical professionals should remember to use the same energy saving work practices that they use at home also at work. This can be as simple as turning the lights off in the examination room. Clinic managers need to be aware of the paper waste that they're generating and take steps to minimize it by using double-sided copying. They can switch to green light bulbs, just turning off your computer when you don't need it, providing recycling receptacles. Cardboard boxes and other forms of packaging should be recycled. People who work in outpatient clinics should be encouraged to use reusable water containers. Getting away from the constant use of bottled water is challenging. In order to really be healthy, we have to be green, we have to be environmentally friendly. We at Chicago PSR understand the links between the environment and our health. Visit our website www.chicagopsr.org. Let us know how we can work with you to make health centers in the U.S. green.